Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dan, the voice behind that Kaito Dan, and welcome to my reaction for Nomad of Nowhere, episode 12, the final episode of season 1, Fiesta. But before we get started, as always, please, 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 make sure you're watching this episode first through the official release on RoosterDeep.com, and while you're at it, Go ahead and uh, go to the social media pages of many of the guys on the Nomad of Nowhere team and give them tons of praise because they have done really good with this series. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I'll save my full feelings on this season until after I've watched this uh, uh, episode just so I'm not going too off topic and I don't start rambling. Uh, but yeah, I've really, really enjoyed this series. It's been very entertaining and especially in the second half. And hopefully, uh, the season will wrap up on a high note. It's time to find out, though, what happens with uh, the Nomad going up against Don Paragon, seeing how he uh, manages trying to defend himself for a change. And maybe we'll get some more fallout with uh, Scout and Toph, and maybe we'll see El Rey? Um, maybe? Not. Either way, was, there's only one way to find out, so enough rambling, let's just get straight into it. Count it down with me for the last time in season one. Three, two, one. And we're right into it. This is going to be interesting. How nice of you to finally join us. <laughs> Back off. What are you doing with your... Oh, oh you want me to leave? <laughs> Why yeah. would I do that? Because people, people need the water. Drunk? No. <laughs> I think maybe That's the difficulty of being he silent. He needed to drink our blood for dark magic. No, maybe that ain't it. You'd run away to safety before we drank uh, you. No. <laughs> you think I don't give these people enough water? These yeah, first guy. Love me. I am their provider. And when I become the next governor of nowhere, they will applaud me for all that I've done. The guy's about as thick as he gets when it comes to they ego. Uh-oh, here we go. I had a feeling he would bring out the fencing sword. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, that's just... In comes the magic. Go on, piñata. Oh, jeez. It's a good thing that's actually made of sweets and not... Real flesh. <laughs> Play the music for the fight. We need some background music for it. Come on, Nomad. Do something. You've got to. Oh! Damn, that was a kick. Dandies. This, this is going to be the issue because he's got no muscle to him. How do we do that? He's a scarecrow, isn't he? Uh-oh. And he, oh, he knows he's a scarecrow. Well, that's our homes down there. He's gonna burn the city to try and burn him? Side with the bad guy. You're the bad guy! Oh boy, this is gonna be very, very chaotic. Come on, Scout, you gotta do some good here. Oh no, that ain't good. No, 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 no. But that... That might be a good way to get the... Uh-oh. Red Manuel. Red Manuel! Oh, God. Come on, Scout. You can manage him. to grow a backbone, you had to pick this one. I'm worried about this because he's, he's a scarecrow. He's not going to be able to to fight properly. And that sword can cut through him like butter. Hey, that's you're using your noggin, Scout. She's gonna use the cannon! Breaking the reservoir would make for a very good distraction. Ah, oh, we so while the Don's distracted, Scout's gonna help and destroy the reservoir. Uh oh. Well, see, that's right. You're supposed to be in jail. Well Not so fast. Uh. Shouldn't you be helping your precious Don catch the nomad? You got this, Scout, come on. Well, you still do not show it doesn't really ring off the tongue that Captain Red Manuel. Oh, the rope hoop. My whole life. And Easy. And still nobody cares. I tell my mother I'm captain now. She oh God. Says, oh, mijito, why are you <laughs> my wife cackling 
every time Dot beats me. Oh, Kagi, your voice acting is spot on. I love it. Uh oh. I mean, to be honest, speaking of spot on, uh, you're kind of a you're jerk. an ass. Well, a jerk. That's oh. fair. You what? Oh my god. You only just noticed that, dude. Oh god. See ya. Oh, oh Jesus. Uh, that looked like it hurt. Fred Manuel. Go. Oh. Uh oh. Toph is out. Toph is out. That ain't good. Oh, it might be. Oh God. Uh oh. Scout, you might want to hurry up with that. <gasps> what for you, mate? Come on, Nomad. Is he going to use the sword? Oh, no, no. I guess that's not really his kind of style, is it? This is his style. The rocks! He's using the rocks! Little buddies! <gasps> oh! Dude's becoming an earthbender! Yo! That's one way to get your muscle. Kinda looks like that one- Jesus Christ! I've seen Toph do that in, um, Avatar. Oh jeez, that was close. Really? Really? <gasps> oh, it's a wig! Oh my god! You know what? Typical for a diva like him. Is ah. Uh... Well, now you're <laughs> you're caught between a rock man and a hard place there, Don. Jesus! Oh, he is not having a good night. Uh, no, uh, come down, Toff. This ain't good. Gosh, she's punching them right off him. She's tough. Oh, Jesus, and she is pissed. Hey, look, he doesn't want to fight you. Come on. I think she's just blind by rage at this point. Come on, Toph. You can see see sense. What's he gonna do now? <gasps> Yo! Statue! Well, it's a bit bigger than his rock, man. There we go. Good on you, lad. Oh, God, is he... <laughs> He's getting punched all over the place by everyone. Oh, here we go. I hope you can swim, Nomad. And the water is free! Get out of there, dude. Oh, boy. Was that Scout? Hey! She saved the Nomad, not Toph. That is mighty interesting, but she's so dedicated now to making sure he's safe. And it sets out the fires. Brilliant! Hey, you were too, Scout. You, you're the one who broke the, uh, the reservoir. See, he says it as well. Oh no, I didn't do anything. Ah. I, mean, I weakened the reservoir with the cannons, and I stopped Red Manuel when he. Oh my goodness, I shot Red Manuel. <laughs> that you did, Scout. That you did. Oh, there you did. Oh, she's got the axe. Oh god, this ain't gonna go. Oh, don't, 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 don't you hit Scout? Please don't hit Scout. Please don't hit Scout. Oh god! Protect him! Ah, oh, the statue! Jesus, I was worried Scout was gonna get accidentally hurt there. Backhand! Time to go. You gotta get out of there, guys. <laughs> Safe. Safe. Are you Cheers. literally or metaphorically? Why not both? <laughs> hey, drinks all around. And Don is screwed. Oh. Crow, is that you? <laughs> or is it Raven? Uh-oh. Uh Is this El Rey stuff? Oh, this is the Oasis. Oh, yeah, it's El Rey. He's speaking for the birds. You know, I've seen the oh, that is free. Just never found the time to come visit. <laughs> Hold the freaking phone. That well, uh, is no, that freaking uh, awful one? The nomad. Yes, but was that freaking uh, John Swayze? Gone? 
now? I'm, I'm I gotta hear him speak I again. Upset. I don't get upset. But oh I my god! Quite hungry. That is all for one! Hey, we, we they got freaking all for one, one as El Ray! Right? <laughs> oh I, my I god! Talked about this before, but if you were to say that is a freaking voice to have. Payment of that magic. And Maybe. you're screwed either way. Look at all those birds! Like a small sample of my power. Oh boy, this ain't gonna go well. Too much trouble. Very well. Oh shit! Okay, I see. I see. You're dead, mate. You're, doing that thing you're dead! My words against me. <laughs> oh crap! El Rey? Oh Jesus Christ! Well, that is freaking dark as hell. Jeez. There's the compass. Did they eat him completely? Whoa. Oh no! Toph's gonna work with El Rey! Oh no! Toph's gonna work with El Rey because he'll promise to help her. Jesus Christ. I guess this is goodbye. Oh, I please don't split up. Please don't split up. Scout, don't go. Come on, Nomad. You got this. Yes. You two you do great together. Wanna stick together? Please. You know that's just going to bring more trouble, right? I think he's accepted it. And you, you do good together. You really want me as your partner? Yep. Oh, no. Oh, friend, I guess. Yeah. As friends. Aww. I'm happy for Scout, even though the stuff with Tough is a bit upsetting, but... So tell me, friend, it's good that they're working together. On all the king's men to come looking for us, how about we went looking for them first? You gotta take them out. You gotta get this out of this world. We have really gotta work on your communication <laughs> skills. That you do. Maybe how well are you learning you sign language? Ah. Uh, <laughs> I'm so glad these two are together. This is a great way to end the first season. And the best person to be working with the Nomad for this. See you, buddy. Oh, that's it. Oh my god, that went by pretty quick, actually. Okay, I gotta keep an eye on this voice cast coming through. It'll be probably at the end for El Rey. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? El Rey. John Sweezy! They got freaking awful one as El Rey. That is brilliant. Um, wow. Okay, I'm gonna let the credits roll as I talk and like discuss this episode and everything else. But first things first, freaking John Sweezy. John Sweezy, awful one for My Hero Academia. As the voice of El Rey, which actually, that is pretty, pretty spot on casting. Not just because the guy is a fantastic voice actor. I really liked him in uh, My Hero, as well as um, he's a father, I believe, in uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, which that was brilliant as well. But not only has he got the right voice for the role, but it's kind of on the nose casting as well. Because you got All For One, who I'll try not to mention too much for spoilers, but he... Basically, as the name says, all the quirks for himself. And El Rey wants all the magic for himself, which is... I wonder if that was intentional. I wonder if they knew he was the... Uh, actually, yeah, John Swayze was uh, the voice of All for One for a while now, before his major appearance in Season 3. So, I'm sure they were aware that he is uh, playing a similar character. But either way, that is... Really, really good casting. But as for the episode overall, I really enjoyed it. It was it was fast paced. It was energetic. There was a lot going on as well. But there was not too much that you would be lost in the shuffle. What was going on? You've got the Nomad trying to defend himself against the Dawn. You got Scout breaking out and trying to break the uh, the reservoir. And then Red Manuel comes in. Toph uh, breaks out, and you got the that dynamic there. Uh, so yeah, it was it was busy, but it wasn't uh, so much that you didn't know what was going on. And everything that was going on worked perfectly. The reservoir being destroyed, the people getting the water, 
uh, the Don taken out, probably eaten alive. Jesus, that was pretty dark. Um, and now, the interesting thing is going to be the situation with Toph, possibly working with El Rey, which is heartbreaking, but it makes sense in some sense, because El Rey, he will uh, see Toph as another means to get the Nomad, and he'll promise Toph everything that she wanted out of the, the out of the dawn, but she couldn't get, uh, help for her people, help stopping the Nomad, and the compass is still there so she could track him with that, so it's going to be very interesting to see Toph working as the proxy for El Rey, especially with her being on the opposite end now of Scow, who is joining the Nomad, which I'm thoroughly uh, excited for, because they got a good dynamic, those two, especially with uh, Scout trying to translate or understand what uh, the Nomad is saying, and it's good that uh, the Nomad does have someone he can count on, and he can have a, a friend, even with this very dangerous, very wild world, and now we're going off out into the nowhere and seeing what else is in store with the other... Uh, I can't remember the term, but the the other uh, kingpings of uh, El Rey's uh, forces. So, yep, it's going to be very, very exciting to see what happens next. And overall, I think this was a fantastic first season for the show. It, it did kind of uh, go slow at the start just to build the world, build the characters, um, explore what it is this world is capable of and what the Nomad and the characters are all capable of as well. But it definitely picked up at the right pace, and we got some answers very early on at the right moment for stuff like the Nomad's origin, some of the stuff with El Rey. Um, so they definitely laid a very good foundation for future seasons. And I'm very excited to see where the series will go now. Um, some very strong comedy, some very good emotional stuff as well. Uh, Scout is probably my favorite character, but there was a, a slew of fantastic characters, even in the one-bit ones that you get for certain episodes, like, um, the, uh, The Undertaker, and, uh, what's the guy's name? The, the Ranch Hand, the one at the start, I thoroughly enjoyed him as well. There's a lot of great characters to this, and that is one of the hallmarks of this series and most uh, Rooster Teeth products. So it's good to see that quality still shine through. So yeah, overall, hats off to the Nomad of Nowhere team. You did an absolutely fantastic job with this series. Uh, you fully deserve all the praise that you're going to get, and I cannot wait for Season 2. Um, so yeah, fantastic job, guys, and... For you guys watching, let me know what you thought about this episode and the season as a whole in the comments down below. And again, please support the show by watching the episode first through the release on roosterteeth.com. And also, again, please share a ton of praise for the team behind the series. They did an uh, absolutely fantastic job. And also, while you're leaving your comments, please hit the subscribe and bell buttons to make sure you get every new video for me as they drop. And follow me on Twitter for more on anything related Rooster Teeth, as well as updates on future content and more. But until next time, whatever happens next with the Nomad of Noah series and anything else on this channel, I'll see you guys all next time. But until then, have a good day, a good night, and peace out. Yeah.